congregation, just before we put our Psalter hymnal away, let me just remind us that we'll be in the Heidelberg Catechism in a moment this evening at Lord's Day 10, which you'll find on page 17 in the back section. But of course, we'll have before us primarily the Word of God, and we find that in Revelation chapter 20. As we continue in this summer series of the evenings, considering the book of Revelation and our Reformed standards, we want to continue now in ways that are helpful to us. And this text sets something before us that, if I might be rather blunt for a moment, Reformed folk don't often give enough consideration to that both in the significant wickedness and evil power of Satan, our enemy, but also in terms of God's sovereign administration over his efforts and the allowance of what he will and will not do. And so we want to pay careful attention to these things tonight. So to Revelation chapter 20, your congregation will begin at verse 1 and read through verse 3. And I saw an angel coming down out of heaven, having the key to the abyss and holding in his hand a great chain. He seized the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil or Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. He threw him into the abyss and locked and sealed it over him to keep him from deceiving the nations anymore until the thousand years were ended, 